Ooh, okay. Let's get it to it, baby. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cringe. Okay. Hello everyone, it's Seiji and today I will be doing a manga haul. I have said in previous videos that I thought it would be fun to incorporate more manga into my channel just because it's been such a huge part of my life since I was like 12 years old and yeah I just think it's fun to talk about. So I have recently been reading more like physical copies of manga so I have been buying so much more and uh, yeah I'm behind with videos so I have loads and loads of hauls to do after this but yeah let's get to the books. The first one is My Roommate is a Cat and this was written by Minatsuki and illustrated by As Futatsuya and it was translated from the Japanese to the German by Cordelia Suzuki. This is a story about a mystery writer named Subaru who is an extreme introvert. He really doesn't like people and so for the most time he is on his own also because his parents have already passed away. So one day he goes to the graves of his parents and there he finds a stray cat who he decides to take home with him. And the manga basically follows their life together. The structure of this manga is that each chapter gets told twice, so first from the perspective of Subaru and then from the perspective of Haru, which is the name of the cat. Then the next one is a horror one shot and it's Dark Hideout by Masasumi Kazizaki and this was translated from the Japanese to the German by Costa Kaspari. They do have an English translation of this one as well but I think it's out of print so you might have some luck finding this in English online like eBay or like a second-hand store. This story is about a man named Kirishima. He and his wife have tragically lost their son but they blame one another for his death. They decide to go on a holiday together in order to patch up their relationship but Kirishima has actually decided to just kill his wife there. Things do not go as planned and his wife manages to escape into a cave. He follows her but eventually gets lost in what turns out to be this huge labyrinth. This weird cavern is haunted by a creepy entity and the manga basically follows Kirishima as he tries to find a way out of this cavern and at the same time we learn about his past with his wife and his child. Then I got this yaoi manga called Depth of Field and this was created by Hishakai Shindo and it was translated from the Japanese to the German by Dorothea Überall. This story is about a boy named Shuichiro who is having a hard time and so after school he decides to go to the roof to essentially hide from his problems. And that is where he meets Ryuhi who people think is rather arrogant and very hard to connect with. But Shuichiro rather quickly finds out that Ryuhi is just incredibly passionate about photography and there's just not many people out there who understand both him and his passion and them meeting up at the roof is the starting point for their relationship as it slowly goes from friendship to more. <laughs> Then moving on to the last piece of German translated manga of this haul, namely Chisa Kobe, Die Kleine Nachbarschaft, and I got volumes one, two, three, and four. And this one was created by Minetaro Mochisuki and it is based off of the novel Chisakobe written by Shugoro Yamamoto. 
The source material of this manga is a classic that is set in the Edo period, which roughly ran from the start of the 17th century up until the end of the 19th. It is about a young and talented carpenter who loses his parents in a fire that also damaged the family business, the carpentry business, and now he is tasked with rebuilding his family business. A woman who grew up in his neighborhood called Ritsu gets instated as a maid and cook in his house, but the catch is that she brings in five orphans who basically lost their orphanage due to the fire. And so the story follows these characters as this carpenter tries to rebuild his life, his family's business. And yeah, that's basically what it's all about. I read the first volume and really, really enjoyed it, which is why I got uh, the other three. And that is basically the complete set. The thing is that I have been thinking in which language I should review some of these manga. Like, would you like me to review them in the language that I read them? So for these volumes that would be German. I have also read some manga in Dutch. I'm reading some in French, I have some Spanish and Italian, so please do let me know <laughs> and uh, I will keep that in mind for future reviews. Okay, I lied, I'm sorry. <laughs> that wasn't the last piece of German translated manga. I got Rent a Girlfriend as well, or Rental Girlfriend, which is what it's called in German. So I got volume one in English. Then I got volumes two, three, and four in German because turns out that the Germans are a bit ahead of the English translations. But yeah, I got into this series because I know Connor from Sea Dog VA really liked the anime and I figured might as well try the first volume. Read it and really enjoyed it, needed more of it. So I got uh, those three other volumes. So this was created by Reji Miyajima and it's basically about this boy. His first ever girlfriend broke up with him and so he decides to rent a girlfriend because apparently in Japan it's this booming business of renting family members like mothers, fathers, uh, grandparents, etc. for a certain amount of time. Anyway, Kazuya ends up renting Chizuru and their lives quickly become entangled and it's just really fun. I really enjoyed the first volume, really looking forward to reading the rest. Um, what else can I say about this manga? I don't think anything. So yeah, let's move on to the next one. You know, I figured it would just be a good moment to talk about another manga series which Connor got me into, and that is Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. I am loving this so so much. I started reading the manga and then quickly switched to uh, the anime series because I had to work on the Fortnite Frights journals and thought it was just a nice thing to watch in the meantime. Anyway, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure is basically centered around the Joestar family. It's split up in parts and each part follows one specific member of the Joestar family and yeah all of their adventures are vastly different and the first two parts also have different power systems. If you are aware of like the memes around Jojo you'll know like these chads that are like those people yeah those only c come after um part two anyway yeah i've been reading part one i'm at this point basically finished i'm reading part two now in french because these babies are really pretty they are hardcover uh, editions and I think they collect more than just one volume but 
they are quite expensive and the French translation is far cheaper. Also, Viz Media is still publishing part four, I believe, and the French are already at Jojolian, which is part eight. So I just thought it would be cheaper and just easier to read this in French. But yes, I have um, part or volume one, volume two and volume three in these uh, Viz Media hardcover editions. Moving on, I have Skullface bookseller Honda-san and this was created by Honda and translated from the Japanese to the English by Amanda Haley. Now this is a manga series that consists of four volumes so it is complete at this moment and it centers around Honda-san who is a bookseller at a major Japanese chain bookstore at, I believe, the, the manga section. He specifically works with art books there. So yeah, that's what the story is all about. And you just kind of like get to know what it's like being a bookseller, the type of manga fans that you will meet working there. And yeah, it's just really fun. Really, wait, this is a book haul. I shouldn't be like giving you my review for this. <laughs> Yes, I will talk about this one in um, a future video. Also, I should note that because I'm so behind with all of my videos, I have almost read everything that is in this haul. So I will be doing like separate review videos for all of these in the future. Okay, <laughs> then I have... I married my best friend to shut up my parents and this was created by Kodama Naoko and it was translated from the Japanese to the English by Amber Tamosaitis. This is a Yuri one-shot manga about a woman named Morimoto who is incredibly bothered by the fact that her parents keep badgering her over getting married. And so as an act of defiance, she decides to marry her best friend, who happens to be a woman. The story follows Morimoto and her best friend living together, and it also shows loads and loads of flashbacks of their lives in high school. And yeah, that's basically what it is is all about. Also them slowly getting closer and closer. So yeah, I will be doing a review for this one in the future. Moving on, I have Dead Dead Demons, Dead Dead, Dead Destruction, and this was created by Inyo Asano, and this is actually the second piece of Asano's work that I've read. I previously read his one-shot called Downfall, and have done a review for that one as well, so if you're interested in that, I will leave a link in the description box. Also, I know every time I talk about Asano, a lot of you have been asking me to read Goodnight Pun Pun and I quite recently got the German box set which I'm really really excited for so I will be reading that and reviewing that in the future. Anyway, Dead Dead Demons Dead 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 Destruction follows two schoolgirls who live in Tokyo. Three years prior to the events of this manga, Japan was invaded by aliens and so for the past three years they have essentially been fighting these entities. And so you follow these two girls as they try and live their lives as impending doom is literally hanging above their heads. And then finally, the last piece of manga that I would like to show you is A Man and His Cat by Umi Sakurai. And I have volumes one and two in English and then three four and five in Japanese. This is such a cute manga about an old man who is a widow and thus decides to adopt a cat named Fukumaru and the thing is that Fukumaru has stayed for a long time at the, how do you call that? Asil? 
I'll put the English translation somewhere. Yeah, he's been staying there for a quite long time because people think that he is fat and ugly, <laughs> essentially. And to be fair, I do have to say that his eyes are kind of cursed and creepy. But nevertheless, um, yeah, this basically is a manga about their lives together and you have flashbacks from Oji-sama's life, uh, the old man's life, and flashbacks from Fukumaru's life. And that's what the manga is all about. I won't say more because I do already have a review for this one and yeah, it will come up in a couple of days, hopefully. And yeah, that's everything that I wanted to talk about. If you like the content that I make, perhaps consider supporting me over on Patreon or getting me a coffee. Um, all of the support is much appreciated. You can also just support me by liking and subscribing. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in another video.